Welcome back, guys, to Subscriber Saturday. Now that Ben and Kevin uh, are getting ready for the show, that's going to ha happen later, I think in about 45 minutes. We're going to have Division 4 kickoff for week number two. So as they get ready, we're going to have another guest, uh, not just Lauren, who's also here with me. Uh, Greetorp's still around as well. But we're also going to have Scott Ball, the Quantic manager, uh, who's currently living in the Quantic house. Which camera are we on? Camera 5? Uh, are we on camera 3? Yeah, we're, we're, on we're, on camera, we're on camera 5. You someone said camera 2. Wow. So many Anyways, things. Scott, are you are you on the line? Yep. How's it going, guys? What's going on, Scott? How are you doing? Doing well, man. Hanging out. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So, uh, first of all, a lot of people may not know a lot of the the managers outside of like Scoot, so, like all the big time managers. So, can you introduce yourself real quick to everyone on the stream? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name's Scott Ball. In game, I go by Quantic uh, Rum Cake. Um, I'm actually not the actual player manager for Quantic. Uh, I'm the director of sales and marketing. I do the business stuff for them, and uh, I do work in the team house and work with the players a bit uh, and with their player manager as well. Right, right. And uh, you're, you're, so you're there at the Quantic House. What, where is the Quantic House? Um, it's actually in Oceanside, California. It's like 35, 40 minutes north of San Diego, right along the beach. Right. So how, how, how is it, man? How is it? Because I know before you used to kind of manage a team outside your house. Or sorry, in outside the, the team environment, kind of in your house. But what's it like being in the flesh with the players like every single day? Especially since you have a bunch of like 15 to 18 year old uh, uh, players in your house. Um, to be honest with you, it's been great. The players here, uh, they're awesome people. They work really hard. They're motivated. Uh, I, I really can't ask for much more from them. Um, their actual player manager, uh, Garrett, is here quite often too, and he's an awesome guy, and everyone's working really hard and doing their thing, and the players are really mature for their ages as well, so it's been great. That's great, that's great. Let's, let's ask a, a question that uh, I guess some people aren't, they're probably always wondering, how do they go from like a player that's kind of unknown to be able to get into like an established team like Quantic and uh, get access to be able to practice at a training facility like the Quantic House? Like, how would, like say if, uh, if Lauren wanted to go pro, and she wants to eventually be able to train in the Quantic facility. Is there like a set of requirements? Is there something you guys are looking for? Is it is there some kind of potential that you guys scout? Can you can you give some insight in that? Um, it's really hard to become a pro player, I think, in StarCraft II. StarCraft is a game that's it's so incredibly hard. There's so much skill, and the the amount of dedication to be like a tip top level of StarCraft II is so unbelievably difficult. Um, however, anything's possible, and I believe that anything anyone sets their mind to and really strives for, they can do. Um, Garrett is the one that really handles our recruitment for the most part, and he, I don't know what exactly he looks for. I know that he's a results guy. He likes to see people to win. He's more of a results and uh, attitude guy. If you're motivated and you work really, really hard um, and you have a good head on your shoulders, I think that's the most important thing. If you do that and you have potential, you'll get the results, and I think that's what we really look for awesome positive attitude does go a long way um how about let, let's also ask about like team dynamics for example check six recently disbanded and uh the the person that was running was mentioning that it's just almost impossible unless you have like a big budget to be able to run these teams especially in north america where infrastructure is not necessarily su uh, supported like in korea uh, you've been on smaller teams like that dating back to all for one it's goes to and now you're on quantic is that statement true like now that you've seen like both sides of it um, yes and no. Obviously, money goes a long way, and you have to have money to do anything. I mean, even traveling to events by itself is really in a pricey endeavor. When you send five-plus players somewhere, sometimes even ten all from all over the world, it really adds up really fast. Um, however, when, they're, when you're in esports right now, there's not a whole ton of teams that are like truly sustainable yet it's kind of like the teams that have a lot of money i think put almost all of their money back into their organization and in esports so it's not like they're turning giant profits and getting rich at the same time right they're making money that they're putting back into their teams so yes it helps to have money but the money that all the teams need still isn't even there yet i mean obviously you have teams that everyone thinks are just completely loaded but the reality is is no team is where they should be and yes, there's organizations with more money than others, but it's still not quite there yet. So pretty much all the money most of the organizations make goes straight back to the teams and to building their business, right? 
Yeah, uh, I think that's a, that's a very logical answer. Let's, uh, let's make it a little bit more lighthearted. Scott, you guys train five days a week uh, for your players. What do you guys do in your two off days, especially since I know you guys have an awesome house? For you guys, those of you guys don't know, you, they have two grills, one at the pool and one on the porch that oversees <laughs> the Skyline of San Diego. <laughs> <Wow>. uh, <laughs> we, we do have a pretty incredible house, and actually everyone here gets along super, super well. So we do a lot of hanging out together, a lot of swimming. We have a really nice pool in the backyard in our days off. Um, we go out. Uh, we all hang out. We have friends over uh, on a regular basis, too. I grew up in Southern California for a long time, and uh, I also did some other things out here, too, so I know a lot of people, and we have friends. We have barbecues, hang out, swim. I have family out here. To be honest, we just have a lot of fun, man, when we're not playing. They train really hard and play hard, too, right? Yeah, that's true. Work hard, play hard. That's what we do here at NASL. Uh, do you guys have anything you want to ask, Scott, Andre, since I know you've, uh, you and Scott go a long way back? How much do you miss me, Scott? I miss you a lot, Andre. <laughs> how, 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 mu how much do you want me right next to you right now in that seat that's behind you? In that seat that's behind me? That would be pretty awesome. I'd be training, pretty excited. Training with you. <laughs> training with me. Oh, that would that would be the ultimate, man. You know what? But you're going to come here soon, right? You're going to come yeah, here soon. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be not, not this coming up week, but next week I'll be down there. So then next week I'll have you in that seat right behind me. Exactly, man. <laughs> what <are> we, <laughs> dreams come true. That just says it right there, guys. If Greetor yeah. comes here. We what, what are we going to do when we're, we're together? Are we just going to eat? Am I going to play with the players? What, what's going on there? Well, uh, we have I, I still think you owe me sushi from when I 2 an MVP, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Wait, you <laughs> have to tell that story, Scott, okay, so how you 2 owe an MVP. This guy, okay, <laughs> he enters IPL4. For those of you guys that don't know, he enters IPL4. He gets first matched up with MVP. And I said, Like the MVP the from Incredible MVP. Miracle. And I said, Scott, if you win, I'll buy you sushi dinner. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All you can eat. He goes, okay. I look on the scoreboard on, on Team Look It afterwards, and I see 2-0 rum cake. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, the best part was that th the rest of the people didn't know that it was actually a walkover. So, But he told Doa at the time that uh, that he actually beat him legit. He's like, yeah, like I did this super awesome build. I prepared <laughs> for it. Like I practiced. I forgated him. MVP had nothing. And Doa was like, yeah, man, I knew you could do it. And Doa <laughs> ran out to the stage. And he's like, rum cake 2 owed MVP. Rum cake 2 owed MVP. And all of a sudden, they're like, no. And like backstage, you're like, Doa, come back. No. <laughs> and it was like, and all of a sudden, Doa just realized what happened. You're just like. I hate you so much, Scott. Yeah, Doc, <laughs> Doc and Frank were in on it too, and man, that was like the most immaculate troll I've yeah. ever pulled off for sure. It was so hard to keep a straight face. <laughs> I actually didn't have to keep a straight face really though, because I was grinning from ear to ear because he thought I really just beat MVP, right? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I could smile, right? Oh man, that, that would be really awesome. Well, Scott, thank you so much for uh, spending time with us. Is there anything you'd like to say for uh, your 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 friends, your sponsors, your team, your your family? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsors, Razor, Twitch TV, Machinima versus DB Vision. Uh, check out my Twitter at Quantic Run, and thanks for you guys for having me on here. And everyone that supports Quantic, we really appreciate it. You guys are what keeps us going. So thanks, everyone. Hey, Scott, before you go, when are we going to do that PVZ show match between me and you? PVZ show match? When you stop dodging, bro. <laughs> Son. When you want to do it, man. I, when you want to do it. I never dodge, okay? <laughs> what was that? I never dodge. When do you want to do it? Whenever you want, bro. <laughs> Whatever I want. Whenever so you, you want, you, you name the place. Place. You okay. get, you get the Quantic players. No, know, Neither of them want to do it. You get the Quantic <laughs> players. It's like, say a date and a time and just do okay, it. Okay, how about, let's let's do it next week when I get there. Next, next week, week when you get, get there, there, what, what day and name and time? Done. Done? Tuesday. Done. Here. Tuesday. Tuesday, at what time? <laughs> I don't know, when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> and then LA I want this match casted by some of your Quantic players. Done. Awesome. Done. Awesome. Guys, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. That was Quantic Rum. Scott, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Good luck in the future.